Thank you for visiting West Coast Auto Enthusiast. Today we're featuring a 2012 Infiniti G37 IPL. This is a, uh, I believe it's a single owner. It's a clean title. It does have an accident on the Carfax. There was minimal damage to the bumper, almost ridiculously uh, minimal. Um, but he had it replaced, and we have the records for it. We also have pictures of the damages before um, it was repaired. And um, uh, anyways, it was they put a whole new bumper on it, so he claimed it on insurance. It's a non-smoker car. It's uh, been very well taken care of. It's got a lot of modifications to it. We can put a uh, warranty on this. We can also finance it through Alaska Federal Credit Union, and we welcome trades. If you've got questions about any of that stuff, we'd be glad to talk to you either over the phone uh, or uh, when you come in. So IPL stands for Infinity Performance Line. It's... Uh, you know, I guess technically they're, they were designed to uh, compete with uh, AMG or the M series uh, or the S series for Audi. It's got xenon lights. So here's the first modification. So you can see the um, Akaboro, um red calipers. You've also got HRE one piece wheels. We have the receipt for the wheels, uh, it was $9,800. Uh, he's got a Passport custom installed uh, radar detector in 9500 uh, with front and rear uh, detection system. I mean, uh, he's got, uh, was it Motordyne uh, exhaust uh, in the back? I mean, it's been very, very well taken care of. And he went, um, the mileage, I believe, was from Sacramento to Portland and Portland to Seattle, so it was highway miles. So there you see the IPL badging. This is a, it looks like a black paint, but it's got a, a plum metallic in it. And um, when you get up close to it, it, ch it changes colors. It's beautiful paint. It's in great condition. So you've got uh, backup sensors here in the back. Uh, there you can see the exhaust, which is aftermarket, as I mentioned. So pretty nice cars. They're, uh, you don't see a lot of them around. I believe they were only available in a couple options as far as paint goes, and then it's got uh, oxblood red leather interior, which is gorgeous. So he is, um, we're selling this on consignment for a customer. You can see the paint and the body's in excellent condition. There's literally no marks or uh, damage on it. It's also got a clear bra on it uh, on the front bumper and hood. Uh, he is buying a new Maserati, and is just looking to sell it and get out of it. So this rubber grommet here lets you know that you can get in and out of your car without your key. You can also start it just by having it in your pocket. You also may be able to see he's got clear bra here, and he's got clear bra uh, in your door handle here to prevent scrapes and paint damage. So there you go. There's your Oxblood Red leather interior. Uh, actually, as the, it's showing up on the camera, it's not quite that red. It's a deeper... It's almost a burgundy, but um, anyways, you've got brushed aluminum trim. You've got uh, power windows, mirrors, and locks, of course. You've got driver's side memory. You've got sport seat here, so you've got an adjustable front uh, extension. You've got bolster, so a sport seat typically has a larger bottom bolster and a side bolster, and that keeps you in your seating position when you're driving more aggressively. So adjustments here. Um, the back, of course, is going to be in great shape, um, probably the case with any IPL just because they don't see a lot of backseat use. I'll get in and walk you through some of the gear on this. So as I mentioned, so you can just start this by pushing the button and having the key in your pocket, you know, which is nice. So I'm going to turn on the lights. I'm going to open the sunroof so that... Uh, so that, that noise you just heard there is the uh, passport activating itself. Actually, you know what? I'm going to close that because the exhaust is noisy. So you've got heated seats here, your center console in the middle, clean, in great shape. Uh, over here, so we've got the books and the original, uh, all the original keys. So this is what I said, so this passport, I don't know what, I've got the receipt for it, but this is a custom design and inlay that uh, they put in for this, which is, I mean, it's done so well, it looks like it came from the factory, but that's your passport system, your radar detector. Uh, of course, shiftable transmissions. Um, you've got shift lock here. You've got dual auto climate control. This is your stereo system. Um, so you've got a six disc changer. You've got uh, let me. Got a backup camera, which is nice. 
You've got paddle shifters, the right's an upshift, the left is a downshift. You have a multifunction steering wheel, uh, which over here uh, is going to be cruise control. Over here you've got voice activation, volume control, and your ability to scroll through uh, radio station, tra uh, CD tracks, uh, etc. You've got driving lights, intermittent wipers, you've got traction control over here. Acquiring GPS signal. And um, you can put, uh, you can turn your sensors on and off. You've got also a power trunk release. So as you just heard, this has also got navigation on it. Uh, let me put it in park here. So pretty nice uh, layout for the navigation system. You've got Bluetooth in here also. I mean, you have all kinds of stuff. A Asian cars are just known for their, um, you know, they've probably there's probably a calendar on here. It's a computer interface. I mean, satellite radio. You've got auxiliary input. I mean, they're just ridiculous as far as technology goes. Um, so a lot more useful, well, less optional stuff than the German stuff or the European stuff that we're used to dealing with Asian cars typically just have a lot more optional equipment that comes standard uh, with them, so, and most of it's technology or computer related, so, anyways, it's a very, very nice car, uh, if you have, con uh, it's in, also, the, uh, on the Carfax, the, uh, the accident shows up in Chatsworth, we're not sure why it shows up in Chatsworth, it actually occurred here in Portland, Oregon, and it was repaired by Auto Works here in Portland, Oregon, it was an expensive repair, and as I mentioned, we've got receipts for that, and we also have pictures of the damage done prior, which is minimal, it's hard even to see in the picture. So, anyways, if you've got questions or would like additional information, please feel free to contact us and we can be reached at 503 227 2354. We'd like to thank you for visiting West Coast Auto Enthusiasts.